What's up guys, I'm Eric Lee and you're watching 31 Accounting. And if you're new to this channel, what we like to do is unbox products to see if they're hot or if they're hype. And today's no different. Today I'm gonna to be taking a look at one of the most affordable baby monitors out on the market, the Lollipop. Check it out. All right guys, so what we have here is a Lollipop baby cam. Uh, I found this, well not really, Key found it online. We were looking at a lot of options because you know as parents you got to figure out how you're going to protect your babies the best you can and uh, you know the little camera goes a long way uh, making you feel a lot better about the safety of your kids when you step out the room. Uh, so most people get this for peace of mind. So we picked the Lollipop because it is probably one of the best bang for your buck cameras you could find. Uh, baby monitors that you can find on the market and we're gonna just take a quick little look at it So we're gonna crack open this box. Well, let me let me show you the box just a little bit more So not a lot to see here. It's like a little sandwich With the pink so this is supposed to give you an indication as you already seen a little peep open This is the color focus. This is the color of the actual camera uh, We went for pink for one of the babies. And I think we're gonna order another one that's like purple uh, just so the girls have some you know a little one gets one color so we'll just get two pink we want to really just see how nice the colors go and we don't want to buy two pink ones so first thing you do is you unbox this and we're gonna pull out the main body so the first thoughts and feel on this is like I know that this is like a flexible foam right off the bat I'm able to just form it and make it some wiggly little color. So now like a toothpick for, you know, a really tall giant. Uh, but okay, let me see this. You're going to screw this is just another accessory. This is the main component. This is the main body, the camera, the brains, the power, all that stuff. It's right here. So it's in a small package. So you can see I have pretty big hands. I keep having the guys uh, to remind you guys, you know, so you ain't sleeping on how actually large of a human being I am. Uh, but this fits in my hand fairly, fairly simple, you know, it's attached it there and I got, you know, a third eye out of my hand. It's actually pretty cool, but it's fairly light. I think the shipping weight for this package was a little over two pounds. Uh, it looks like there's a microphone here on the main body and, uh, a USB charge port. I think this is USB A, uh, the one you know, the old school ones with the prongs. Uh, we'll look into that just a little bit, and just a little bit. Uh, so, first thing I'm going to do is let me just try to see if I can make this stand up by itself. You know, before we look at anything else, just see if you don't need any of these other accessories uh, minus the charger. If you could just put this on something and it'll stand up, because that was pretty much what. We bought it for we didn't really want to be screwing anything in uh we didn't want to have something stationary so you know in case we want to go visit a relative or you know go to an airbnb or whatever you know when the world gets a little bit calmer well that's not working very good for me gotta get this balance right when everything gets a little better you know we want to be able to still go other places and uh be able to monitor our babies, you know, as we, you know, eat or do whatever, you know, parents need to do. I am failing at this, guys. Don't judge me. Hopefully y'all can do this a lot better uh, than I can. Uh, come on, Eric, get it together. Well, we're going to pretend like I got that to stand up. Uh, but in theory, this should be able to stand up fairly simple. If you're better than me, you can, you, you probably are. I'm making this look a lot harder than it needs to be. All right, so we're gonna take this and just set that aside. We're gonna see what else is in the box. Okay, so this is out of the way. Uh, I just thought about something. This may be a little more difficult to get back straight enough to put into this box. But we're gonna look at what's the next thing they show you. So they're gonna show you all the options of hooking this up to your baby's crib. So this is one of the options. Uh, there's a, seems like there's a neck piece that hooks up right here and you're able to just hook it across and adjust how it goes. 
can even charge it. So that's pretty simple. Okay, and this one where you can monitor or run your cables where they're not in the way for the babies. And then it give you a little QR code. All that in a very neat package. So far it's looking really good. It's looking like, you know, cause the, the thing you don't want, if you're not like very, oh, look at these feet. If you're not very technical or technical or handling, you know, technology, you don't want something that's complicated. You want something that you can set up really quick and get peace of mind dealing with these babies because they keep you up all night. You know, you start losing weight because you don't get a chance to eat. Uh, this looks like another option, another base option. Just pull that out. We'll look at some of this a little bit more later. What is this? So this is a sticky surface. I have no idea what these things are for. I don't even know if I'm gonna use them, uh, but I do know the first thing, the thing that's on here is the, the way we planned on attaching it to our crib when we looked at buying this. All right, let's look at this accessory. Okay, I guess this is if you want to attach it to the wall. Oh, uh, this is probably also the the cable management. So it's all here, kind of give you an idea. Cable management, all that stuff, screws, the whole nine. I'm gonna take a quick little look at this. Okay, so these have the, the sticky strips. So you can attach it to the back of your crib, run your wires through here. Nice, very nice. Okay, and this is the part that they had in the clip that goes like this. And then you run this through here. You see, I did that in like five seconds. I know all you guys are a lot smarter than me. So if so far you liking what you're seeing, go ahead and grab that like button and subscribe. You know, I come with the, the fire. And if you don't know how much this costs, I'm gonna have the link down below. Uh, so if you do go to that link, you also be supporting this channel and, uh, yeah, I'll get a little kickback, probably not much, but it'd be through Amazon. So that'll give me something. Something's better than nothing. Help me feed these twins. So, uh, this looks like, I have no idea, but this is like charging ports. So this is like the main base. Yeah. So this just the brick. I guess if we lived in a different country, it'll be a different attachment that'll get sent with it and uh, make it a lot easier. Say Canada or the UK, how they have those funky weird pro, uh, plugs that we don't have in the States. And it'll allow you to hook up. Okay, and this is also USB. So USB to, to A port, which is that one right here, the one with the prongs. But that's it, that's it for what's in the box. We're gonna go over a little bit with how the camera works. Uh, probably show you a few different angles on how to set it up, but you already know how I'm gonna do it. Just a plain, simple fold and go. All right, back up top. So I know I said we were going back up top, but I really want to take the time to lay out everything so you see exactly what's in the box. Uh, so like I said, this was the charging brick. This was the two pieces when you've seen it. Literally just snap that together and turn and it's locked into place. Pretty simple. This is the little thing I showed you that goes up here unless you bend this and lock it in place around the, the crib. And these are the three strips that's gonna help you with your cable management. This portion I didn't really talk about, but if you're planning on mounting this to the wall, it gives you a little thing that says up. Can you see that? Okay, so there's an up on this. And inside, there's an arrow that goes up. And all you would do is you would mount this to the wall. There's a sticky portion as well. This will get mounted to the wall using these screws and these anchors. So you can pretty much put it anywhere. You don't have to find a stud or any of that stuff. Uh, and you would mount this to the wall. You would turn this, lock it in place. So say it'll be like this. And you would just drop it in. 
Simple as that. So they make it very, very easy. Uh, new parents, uh, veteran parents, whatever. If you want something affordable, I just don't like that this is still all curly. I can't get it straight. But if you want something that's easy to put together, uh, really cool looking, because you know that pink is fly for my babies, uh, and something that is affordable, so far, this is a thumbs up. Back up top. Okay, guys, so it's been about a week. Well, not quite a week, about four days since I unboxed this lollipop baby monitor. Uh, but let's just go back a little bit. Let's go back, you can see it. And there it is, it's still the same one with the pink, with the pink, actually, let me. All right, guys, so got the pink shirt on, matching the gear, you know what I'm saying? This is, look at that. This is the watch master shirt, this is the shirt match the dang on lollipop. Okay, I'm, I'm a little off. I'm a little off on the lollipop color, but you know, I'm trying guys, don't don't judge me too hard. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about uh, some of the things I really liked about this product. But first, let's go back. Let's go back to how I got to the lollipop in the first place. So um, I've been really digging this, uh, this, this lollipop uh, body, words okay so i've been really digging this uh lollipop baby monitor uh mostly because like i thought like i said earlier i think it's the best bang for a buck if you're trying to get yourself a monitor especially two of them uh that's going to get the job done you don't really need a lot of tools to put together and you can take it wherever you want and so it really interested me it interested key and we decided this is what we wanted uh and since we were buying two it was very affordable uh, but I reached out to Lollipop and they actually decided to sponsor this video. So, yay, kudos to that. Saves us a little bit of money, a little more formula we could buy for the babies and diapers and all that good stuff. Uh, so that's how I got to this product. I liked it from the jump, but they are sponsoring this video that you guys know. Uh, but we're gonna talk about some of the things that I really liked about this and some of the things I thought were, well, needs a little bit of improvement. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is ease of use. So, um, to put this on my phone, like so I can monitor this, it took about 10 seconds. Now it would've took a lot less time, probably like five seconds had I did what I should've done and watched the, or watched the YouTube video or maybe even just looked at the instructions. I didn't do either. So I was trying to connect to this thing without it being plugged in and that's a no-go. So this monitor has to be plugged in at all times to work, simple as that. So. If you move around or do anything like that, you just gotta make sure you bring the plug with you. It's not a big issue with me because uh, the cribs are right next to plugs, so I don't have to worry about extension cords or that stuff, so it made it still very easy to use. Uh, downloading the app to this is just going to the app store, whether you have uh, a Samsung, Google phone, or any of those, or any of those Android phones, or iPhone, it's a UR code, you just plug and play. And that setup is very, very easy. It just asks you a few things like what room this is in, uh, who are you monitoring and so forth. Uh, so ease of use, I give it 10 out of 10. It is completely awesome in that regard. Um, I would have liked for this to be wireless, but you know, plugging it in didn't really make much of a difference for me. So that's still pretty cool. So what I decided to do, uh, I was gonna do this video a little bit longer or different, uh, but the baby started yelling and I decided to go ahead and just plug the camera back up in the crib and let you guys see kind of a live view of what's going on. Uh, so this is the app itself. And as you can see, there we go, focus. Uh, you can see there's options right here for whether you want the background noise to be. I have mine set for uh, Choplin, but what we can do is click the different options and it'll show you what you have so right here you have waves you have the i guess what's that the womb you have all these other options for background noise including right there it looks like a blow dryer and then you have classical music up top it's supposed to make your baby really really smart uh but you know all babies are kind of smart parents just make them bad uh with bad decisions so there's my baby right there you can see she's moving this is real time uh if you click up there you see there's some other options that pop up one is so you can take a picture so that's this one it lets you take a picture there uh the other one's a microphone that lets me talk to my baby but since they can't talk back that's not really a 
uh, option right now. That's more for when another parent's back there and you're like, hey, uh, get off your phone and check out the baby or something like that. I don't know. Whatever your, uh, your ordeal is. So then it lets me blow this up to full screen, which is what I'm going to do now. So you can see my babies on the screen like this, or I can hit it again and get this good big view that you like for you too. Look at that cute baby. Yeah, that's mine. So uh, these are some of the options. And like I said, as you can see in this, this is very crisp live screen. There's no glitching, none of that good stuff. And you can see my baby moving around in real time. So that's the quality, uh, which I, like I said, is awesome. It also has infrared. I have mine set right now where when the lights go off or if it's dark in a room, the infrared kicks in immediately. Uh, you have an option of changing that. I don't really like using a background noise though. Uh, I figure there's there's better machines that are, you know, that just straight up for the sound. Uh, so I just, I really got this just for the video and it's, it's amazing. It is top notch. Uh, other things that it shows is uh, there's heart rate. They also track whether your baby's been moving around a lot. So there's like a timeline option on the other side and it'll let you see what the baby has been doing. As you can see this one, I took the babies out to feed. So there's just other stuff on the side. I know it's a little hard for you to see, but let me tell you, this is this is by far one of the best simple apps to use. I'm sure those things are a little bit more complicated, a little more expensive, uh, but that's not what I'm all about. I need something that just works. Uh, the only, uh, only problem I have is sometimes if I have it, um, plugged in too long and I'm not using it, the babies are in the room, uh, I have problems keeping a signal. That I, Now for me, uh, I found the reason that could be is because the router, the router is very far. The router's on the other side of the house of the babies. So uh, maybe the lollipop's having a problem connecting to the router for a little bit. I normally just unplug it, plug it back in, and the whole day I have a good connection no matter where I'm in, where I am in the house. So that's just, that's just something that I've had an issue with, but that's the only thing. Uh, other features on here that I haven't even used is like tracking the sleep. Uh, I don't have that problem because my babies are so small at nighttime, they come back into the bedroom with us and they sleep in the uh, bassinet, the twin bassinet. So this is normally just during the day. So while we're doing chores, washing, all that stuff, eating, we have access to the babies and this is top notch. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for the video. If you're in a market for a baby monitor, look no further. This is the one for you, uh, the lollipop baby monitor. There we go, show it, okay. And, uh, and if you found this video to be funny, entertaining, uh, informative, you got something from this video, take the time right now to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell so you're notified every time I release a new video. Uh, that's gonna be it for this. I'm Eric Lee, you're watching 31 and Counting. We out.